What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is going to be the Havana Soul. Um, looks like a dark Maduro. This is a cigar that is made for Cigar King of Arizona. It is made by A.J. Fernandez. It is a very dark uh, wrapper and a really cool-looking uh, band on there. It is very spongy to the touch, minimal veins, tight seams, looks like it's a possible it's a double cap and we're getting a faint cocoa coffee off the foot and a little bit of earthiness so looks like a really good stick we'll be right back with our first third into our first third we're getting that rich earthiness a little bit of sweetness from of almost like a cocoa profile but there is a massive like cayenne kick uh, so definitely different I've had pepper before but nothing more that is predominant taste like uh, cayenne pepper there is a little bit of dark espresso flavor to that and I am getting bits of clove in the background so definitely an interesting mix, and uh, as you can see, like I said, it's a really dark, I would say it's probably a medium to full flavor cigar. Really good draw, enough smoke, leaves a little tingle on the lips, uh, but definitely something to check out and uh, try. Again, Havana Soul, uh, exclusive to Cigar King but it is made with uh, the help of A.J. Fernandez. So stay tuned, back with our second third. A little information about the cigar. Uh, 2003 is when Cigar King first uh, showed off the cigar. Uh, they got, originally was made by Pepin Garcia in Miami. Uh, it gained its reputation and quickly, uh, for the price that point it is, a fairly inexpensive cigar, but in 2007 they changed uh, because uh, he just happened to decide he was a little busy to keep uh, with the project. Uh, then in 2010 they tried uh, Rocky Patel and they tried to keep the, the blend, but unfortunately they limited it because they were running out of the tobacco they liked for the blend. And so it was about 200 boxes is all they had, and in 2013 uh, they sold their last boxes of that. A pack of 10, uh, $69.95, not too bad for an online price cigar. So uh, that's a little bit of the history and uh, again the Havana Soul from Cigar King. That second third is really rocking out that cocoa and that espresso flavor. Almost like a, a little bit of vanilla and that spice. Uh, it's more of a soft vanilla, so it's in the back of the palate, but it's not so bad. And that harsh uh, cayenne kick that I had at the beginning is definitely fading off. It's still predominant, and you'll you'll still have a little bit of it, but it's not as uh, bad as it was in the first third. And it, was, it really wasn't bad for me, but I know some people, it might be a little overwhelming for them. And again, digging that cedar profile, uh, something, you know, you always see cigars with cedar, and they have that in the actual flavor of the blend is pretty uh, unique. And we're back with our final third. Welcome back everybody for the final third of our review today of the Havana Soul from Cigar King by AJ Fernandez. We're starting to get a lot of that that espresso and that coffee and the earthiness and a little bit of that spice kick that was in the first third is coming back a little bit stronger in the third at this point, it's a real f full medium, uh, almost to a full flavored cigar, but all in all, a really good st uh, stick to try, and it is something I suggest you try. If you are in the area, check it out. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke, and I'll see you next time. I want to take a second to say thank you for all your, of the subscribers out there who watch my channel. For those who still watch the channel but don't really subscribe, I would hope you would subscribe. I am hitting uh, close to 20,000 views 
which for me that's a huge amount to just think that my videos have been watched 20,000 times 